The first order system only has one pole on the real axis. Its location is negative A, and therefore its step response shows a time constant of 1 over A. Because the A shows up in the analytical expression as A times T. That's what gives it a time constant of 1 over A. The second order system can be described the same way. The location of those poles, the real location, the real axis location of those poles uh, has a time constant associated with each pole. And so this second order system has a time constant of 1 over A and a time constant of 1 over B because there are two exponential functions where A and B show up in the analytical expression exactly in the same place as it did in the first order system. Same is true for the critically damped case. There are two exponential functions with uh, time constants of 1 over C. And also in the underdamped case, there is an exponential function with a time constant of 1 over D.